Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your complete forecast update coming up in just a little bit. We're going to be seeing the possibility of even more thunderstorms coming our way and also seeing the potential. Excuse me a second. No, just would figure that my monitor would go out at the right time. We'll continue to see again the potential for more showers and thunderstorms across the Mid-South as we get into the rest of the day today. Temperatures for today are going to be very much on the warm side. The Mid-South forecast down at the bottom of your screen for today. Temperatures in the 90s, winds out of the southwest, and could be some more showers and thunders around parts of the area. Meanwhile, later on tonight, getting used to pointing here, uh, again, winds coming out of the west, partly cloudy skies, and temperatures for lows only back in the mid to upper 70s, so not looking at too much help there. Think it's hot here. We'll take a look at see what is going on where weather where the troops are in parts of the Middle East and around parts of the rest of the world. We'll be bringing more of that to you in the course of the next couple of weeks. And of course, we'll take a look at the 30-30 rule. If you've never heard about that before, somebody that could save your life when it comes to showers and thunderstorms across parts of the Mid-South area or anywhere you are where the thunderstorms are located, there's a certain area to where lightning can strike. And if you're nearby that thunderstorm, even a lot farther away than what you might think, we'll talk more about what the safety rule is when it comes to summertime or anytime thunderstorms in the Mid-South or anywhere on the planet, wherever you happen to be, remember to stay safe out there as we go throughout the rest of the summer season. Sunlight galore around the Mid-South campus area. So far, again, looking at very quiet conditions out there, but plenty of sunshine out across much of the Mid-South. I'm going to be seeing, again, the potential for more areas of showers and thunderstorms today, which could block out some of that sunshine as well. Again, from the Ole Miss campus, the Crosby Hall Construction Cam, looking squarely at the Student Union and showing, again, some pretty quiet conditions across parts of the area here, but that could change. You got a pretty good thunderstorm area over parts of the area close to Oxford yesterday, and you did manage to wind up with about a third of an inch of rainfall. UV forecast today is still expected to be a high one, about a 9 out of 10 and not exactly the dry air, full bore sunshine that we saw a couple of days ago. This is going to be very conducive for sunburn to happen in a short amount of time. So sunblock would be a very good idea. Tomorrow, more clouds expected to be a little bit lower on the UV forecast. But either way, if you're going outdoors today for long periods of time, protect your skin. Skin cancer is a dangerous thing, especially if you get too much sun. That can lead to sunburn. I speak from experience. Let's be careful out there where it comes to anything involving sunshine across much of the Mid-South area. Now, for earthquakes in the last 24 hours, we're not seeing too much of anything happening directly in the News Channel 3 viewing area. One minor earthquake right on the edge of the Missouri Boot Hill, just northeast of Jonesboro, but nothing specifically happening within the News Channel 3 viewing area. More information about earthquakes, all you have to do is go to the various sites around the Mid-South area or beyond. you got, again, the uh, area from the United States Geological Survey at earthquakes.us gs.gov and from our own Center for Earthquake Research and Information available through the University of Memphis. Go to memphis.edu slash CERI, Center for Earthquake Research and Information. Great place to get earthquake information, data, all kinds of neat stuff, and great graduate uh, degree program there as well. Something to think about if you'd like to know more about earthquakes in the area. Precipitation zip for about the sixth day in a row. Nothing to report. We're behind for the month by about an inch point two and well ahead for the year by 9.6. For the moon, just past the first quarter at 52.5% full. Moonrise will be at about 120 this afternoon and it will set at just about 120 early tomorrow morning. 2.13 p.m. the moonrise time into tomorrow afternoon and moonrise on, moon set on Monday at 146. Sunrise in the mid-south today at 545 likewise tomorrow and going closer to 816 into tomorrow so we'll see just a little bit more daylight as we get into the early morning hours and the rest of the day on Monday and approaching the summer solstice which is about a week away so maximum sunlight coming up here relatively soon. Heading into around the area close to the Gulf of Mexico. Really not that much to report at this point. We do have, again, some shot down to around the Gulf Coast, and we do have a new storm system starting to make its way. As you can see in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, just from parts of northern Texas, but directly in the Caribbean, the Gulf, and the western Atlantic, nothing showing up in the way of development 
for anything involving thunderstorms. I'm going to be keeping a very close eye as to what's going on out across the Atlantic over the next several days and weeks as we are right in the middle of hurricane season, uh, starting off very active with, again, Bonnie and, Ch and uh, Colin over the last couple of weeks, which are now nothing more than distant memories. And so far, again, no major developing systems to report across the uh, Atlantic at this point. So good news on that. Hot and humid today. Temperatures through mid-morning to early afternoon, back in the high 80s to the lower 90s. Notice again these chances of showers and thunderstorms will be developing as we get into the course of the rest of the day today. Anywhere across parts of the Mid-South could be looking at these thunderstorms, but primarily in the area south of I-40 for later on today. And some of that could spread into the metro area and beyond, so I would not be surprised to see the entire Mid-South area anywhere along and north of Interstate 40 wind up with the possibility of showers and thunderstorms today. Severe weather doesn't look like a main threat, but we will be watching that again with a lot of interest, so stay tuned for that. Thunderstorms and rain fading by News Channel 3 at 10, but toasty out there. Temperatures in the high 70s to around the lower 80s. Daybreak tomorrow morning, News Channel 3's Todd Demers on with your forecast, getting back from vacation. Mid to upper 70s for lows and another hot and humid Monday. Highs in the upper 80s for Monday, lower 90s, and once again, a peppering of showers and thunderstorms across the Mid-South as we go throughout Monday, the last Monday in spring springtime for the area and still pretty warm by News Channel 3 at 10. Your seven-day forecast Sunday today back in the lower to mid-90s, <coughs> excuse me, looking at the possibility of this forecast continuing right on in through Monday. Flag day on Tuesday. Temperatures may reduce a little bit thanks to the increased area of showers and thunderstorms out there and also seeing a lot more clouds as well. So probably going to reduce the temperatures by just a little bit, but not exactly cooling things off. We'll be back to just about normal by next Saturday, but it's going to take a while to get there. Not to mention the fact that we've got, again, some fairly good amounts of chances of rainfall all the way throughout the course of the rest of the week, and also seeing, again, temperatures at nighttime back into the mid to upper 70s for lows. So just not that much out there in the way of relief. Heading out of spring and into summertime, which starts next Monday, Monday, not tomorrow, but next Monday after that. Temperatures around 90, and those chances of showers and thunderstorms will be continuing across the entire Mid-South as we get again into the next several days. No relief in sight from this. If you remember the forecast from about two to three weeks ago, that's about what we're going to be going through as we get into the next couple of days, so please keep that in mind. Again, outdoor activities, maintain a watch on everybody for heat and humidity. It's going to be very stifling out there to work or exercise for long periods of time, and again at nighttime it's going to be very humid and not that cool, so we're going to be seeing some very warm days throughout the course of the next few. How hot is it out across parts of the area where the troops are located? in parts of the Persian Gulf area back into Iraq. Weather where the troops are for Sunday showing 5.30 Iraq time as we record this. Temperature around Najaf about 101 and 106 in Basra. 98 degrees with full on sunshine in Baghdad also up around Mosul. Conditions a little bit, but not by much throughout Saudi Arabia and the Persian Gulf nations, mid to upper 90s to lower 100s. Temperatures a little bit in Peninsula. We're not looking at, again, anything the way of major problems here with, again, temperatures in parts of the area back in the lower to mid 70s, upper 70s around Tegu, and temperatures back in the lower 70s with westerly winds around Seoul this morning and into this afternoon around Monday evening around 11.30 Korean time. If you'd like to see more about lightning safety, if you go to WRAG.com, again, when a thunderstorm is located over downtown Memphis, you could be struck by lightning in Collierville, South Haven, West Memphis, or back to Millington. Anywhere within that circle is where you could get struck by that lightning. A lot of people don't take that into account, and that's something you need to consider. So wait 30 minutes for that storm to move away. Wait for the last flash of lightning and the last rumble of thunder. And then after 30 minutes, if you see nothing else in that area, you can resume outdoor activities. On the other hand, if you do not count that, that could be a very big risk. And again, if you hear thunder or lightning, restart the clock. If you want to know more about this, go to wreg.com slash weather. Remember, let's all stay safe out there throughout the summer season. Deborah J54 from the Humboldt, beautiful sunrise plus blue hydrangea and already reporting as humid out there. Michelle Lewis from FM 100 in Memphis, out Pause for a Cause at Saddle Creek, along with yours truly, Shea Arthur and Caitlin Alexander. 
also coming out to wash the dogs for a good cause. So thanks to everybody who came out for that. And if you'd like to send me anything, Aonic underscore WRAG3 on Twitter, also on Facebook, also on various other social media websites out there. So again, drop by and send us pictures of what you're doing during the weather. Remember to stay safe out there throughout the course of the rest of the forecast. We'll have updates on the forecast coming up today after the FedEx St. Jude coverage on the CBS Sports starting at 5 o'clock tonight or somewhere around there, your News Channel 3 forecast. 60 minutes at 6. Another update coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. So make sure you tune in for that. Again, we'll keep you updated online as well at wrg.com slash weather. Thanks to Melissa Joseph for bringing in some very nice uh, cupcakes, chocolate chip cookie dough, if I'm not mistaken. Friend of hers who was pregnant uh, would, wanted some of these. She whipped these together and brought the rest into the crew. So a very nice way to start off Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. Email me at austin.onik at wrg.com. And, of course, we'll have the rest of your forecast updated for you throughout the day on wrg.com and tonight on News Channel 3.